in this video I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about taking honey off and doing American Foulbrood checks. Now there's a piece of advice we can give, which is the best advice, but we know most people won't be able to carry that out. Now honey boxes are always a major risk for American Foulbrood disease. Um, there's a lot of material there and if it's an American Foulbrood colony we're taking the box off, there's a great probability that the honey itself will be infective. And so what we advise is that as you take the boxes off, you do an AFB check on every hive. Now having said that, I've taken honey off thousands of hives, it's a really hard thing to do. If you've got a team, say you've got four or five people, you can do it, that four of your team are taking boxes off and one person is just going through each hive checking every frame for AFB. But the problem of course is it's hot, it's miserable, the bees are aggressive and they want to rob wherever they can. So mostly, you can, well you can do it, but it is very difficult to do it that way. But it is the best way, so that if you find a hive, you can quickly get the boxes back again and you can put it all back together and you go and burn it. The second alternative, a uh, uh, second best alternative, but much more achievable, is to make sure that you have every hive numbered. And as you take the boxes off, you write the hive number on them. Then what you can do is you can come back and do an AFB check later on. If you find an AFB hive, you know what number it was, you know where, what number the boxes are, you can go and get them again and you can destroy them. But that requires a much higher level of organisation, of course. One, to have everything numbered. Secondly, to be able to track it down and do it and find them again. And mostly you won't have time to do that. They may go through the extractor before you get to the boxes. Um, but one thing, if you can put it in place, and beekeepers do this and do it quite successfully, is make sure the same frames go back in the same boxes. So even though you've taken the honey out, at least you've still got the box there with the frames in with a number on it that instead of taking it out and putting it onto a clean hive next spring, you can, if it's an AFB, if it's an AFB box, you can find it again, take it out of your extraction facility and burn it. And I remember a beekeeper who had about 60 hives that they were taking honey off. They had a lot more than that. And when they rang me up, they said, well, they looked through the hives and it had a lot of parasitic mite syndrome. So they put some strips in, took the boxes away to be extracted, got them extracted, came back and sure the PMS had cleaned up, but they also all had AFB. And the question he had was, well, I've got this shed with thousands of boxes in, what do I do now? How do I know which ones have come off the 60 AFB hives and which ones are clean hives ones? The only thing I could advise them is, well, put them in the spring. The colonies that get AFB um, are the ones that came off that apiary and you'll have to burn them. But if he had numbered his boxes, when the, the PMS had cleaned up and they found there were AFB, he could have gone back and get, got them again. Or the second thing he could have done perhaps is a quarantine. So that all the boxes for one apiary goes to get, go in one place. At least if you've got a badly infected apiary, you've got a chance of finding it get finding those boxes again if you've got them marked as far as apiaries are concerned. In Australia, they do this routinely, but they have 100 hive apiaries. But, so they keep them pretty much quarantined. So in summary, the best advice is the big team and inspect AFB as you take the boxes off. The second best is have every hive numbered and number the boxes as they come off so that when you do your inspection later, you can find it and destroy it. The third possibility, still not as, quite as good as the other two, is have a quarantine so that you keep all the boxes from, one apri from each apiary separate so that if you find a AFB hives in an apiary, you can go back to that collection of boxes and make a decision then. If it's only one, are you going to risk putting them back in clean hives? or are you going to take all the boxes and destroy them in any case?